I'm going to have a look at ZZ Top's If I Could Only Flag Her Down. It's in the key of B and it's like a blues shuffle and it goes like this. <laughs> actually quite a tricky song to play it's not so much the notes it's getting the, the rhythm right and moving between the octave because you're starting here with a slide you're starting on the fifth up to the seventh on the E string and then you've got this octave here from the B note to the B notes here on the B the seventh on the E string and then you're coming up here to the ninth on the D string and the B there so you've got this And this here, you're playing the ninth on the B and the tenth on the E. So just for clarity, when you've played this here, you're coming back here to this note first. So next you've got this. And this is played in the key of B. So you're holding the B note here, which is the seventh of the E string. You're coming up here and the ninth on the A, and you're going. Now you're not playing this. You're actually lifting this finger on the A string on and off this F sharp here, so you've got this. So now we've got this, which is like a pre chorus, and it goes into the chorus. And you're still playing this rhythm here. So this part now, you've got that, and you're playing an A to an E. And for the A, I'm buying across the four strings on the ninth, I'm adding in on the B, and then here on the D string. So it's the tenth of the B and the eleventh of the D for the A and then just for the E. And you do that three times and then the fourth time you come down here and you play a D and then to the A. Now we come to this part and it's all played on the E string so you've got the E string open and then you've got an F sharp and then you come to the B. So you've got the B on the 7, and then you come to the 9th on the D. Go down to the 7th, back to the 9th. Now that covers all the rhythm parts for the song. If you have a listen, you can always fit them in where, where needed. So now we'll have a look at the lead. So the lead part starts like this. Now the lead starts and you're picking the G and the E string and you pick it again when you actually get to the 11th so you slide it up and it does that twice and now we have this bit when you come here on the 7th of the E
So you've got the seventh of the E, you come here to the tenth of the B, the seventh of the B, the tenth of the G, the ninth of the G, the seventh of the G, and then you've got this. And that's going from the G down to the B. So you've got this if I play it slow. And that last bit is just rocking from the 7th to the 9th on the D string. Now we've got this. So for the first bit now, you're playing the E open, then you come up to the fourth here on the E, and then you get in the second on the A, the fifth on the A, back to the second on the A, and then you come in here to the fourth on the A, and then you finish off on the second here on the A. Now I've got this and you're playing the two strings together, you're playing the G string and the E string together. So for this you're playing the 7th on the E, the 8th on the G, and then you come down two frets, and then you're playing the 4th on the G and the E, and then you're coming down here two frets, keeping that position so you've got this. Putting that together, you've got this. So for the last little bit of this solo, you've got this. So for this, you're coming up here and you're playing the 14th of the E and the 15th of the B. Now you've just got this last little bit left and you're starting here on the 7th of the E, you come to the 10th of the B, 7th of the B, then you're coming onto the G string on the 9th, 